Hello Android gamers, great news. Today I'm going to show you how to play Half-Life 1, a PC port on Android. Yes, it's a port. It's much faster than running it with DOS and previous methods. You can run it on any dual core device with one gig of memory, pretty much full speed. Check it out here in the four PDA forums. The X Dash app is the one that lets us play it. Big thanks to these four developers right here who made this project happen. Big thanks, guys. And in addition, Emil from Bellico Games has now incorporated his very intuitive controls into this great app. Big thanks to him as well. Setup is rather straightforward and easy. Install an APK for the app. And then we'll need to copy our data from our Half-Life Valve folder. We need to copy the whole Valve folder over onto our Android device on our internal memory of our SD card into a folder called xash and put that whole valve file right there and we'll be ready to play. Don't worry, I'm going to take you through step by step how to get everything installed right now. First off, the links in the 4PDA forum won't work. Look in the video's description and I'll link you right to their GitHub. The newest version will always be at the top here. Here's the release notes. You can see in the previous version the great new touchscreen controls have been added in so you can totally play this on Android. And all you need to do is download this x-apk right here. I'd recommend doing this from your Android device. Here I am on my Android device ready to download the APK from their GitHub. Look in the video's description for all the necessary links to get this installed. There may be a newer version by the time you're looking at this. All you need to do is download the xash droid release APK here. Download it directly to the device. will be prompted to download to the download folder by default. Click OK to get started. And you can check the notifications by swiping down and you'll see the download progress. Once it's finished, just click on the notification to get it installed. Click next to install the APK. You'll need to have unknown sources selected from the security menu. If you haven't done that already, it'll prompt you to do that. Now you're done, it's installed, and you can open it up. Now we can't actually launch the game yet. We have to get our game data onto the device either by directly downloading it or by transferring over from the PC. Now that the Half-Life app is installed on our Android device, we'll need to plug that in with the USB cable and transfer over our Half-Life game data. Plug it in now. Open up the Android device, go to your computer, this PC. In this case, I'll be using my Note 2. And we'll want to put it into the internal storage. Here we are in the root directory of our internal storage. We'll need to create a folder called xash. Create a new folder and call it xash, just like this, and open it up. Here we must place the Valve folder located in our Half-Life game folder. There are two possible locations on our PC for the Half-Life folder. If you have the older CD version, go to My Computer, go to This PC, look for the C drive, Sierra, and Half-Life. In the Half-Life folder, you'll find the Valve folder. We need to copy the entire Valve folder and paste it into the xash folder here. Alternately, if you have the Steam version of the game, it'll be located in My Computer, the C drive by default, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life, and here is the Valve folder. So we just need to copy and paste the Valve folder into the xash folder on our Android device. Once all the data is finished transferring over to the Android device, I'm going to show you a nice gameplay demonstration. Today I'll be using my HP touchpad with the KitKat Pac-Man ROM. This is a dual core device with one gigabyte of memory. I'll be demonstrating the great new controls thanks to Bellico Games. Please like and subscribe to see the latest with PC and ports on Android. Thanks for watching, everybody. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47.93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees. Yes, you're not with us, aren't you? Hey, Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down oh, there. Oh, my God, what are you doing? Come on, Gordon.
you trying to get me into trouble? Why do we hold? Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system. For the highly trained professional, we've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Okay. 